Hey guys, how are you? Happy Palm Sunday. Next week is Easter. This week I'm going to be teaching you all how to make the perfect ham pie, better known as a pizza game. So, here we have our dough. Okay, we're going to roll this out nice, nice. I've already started. I made this fresh from scratch this morning. I was up at 4 a.m., as you could tell, you know, in the parchment paper, and I said, I didn't make it. I bought it. I, you know, I, I just don't have time for that stuff. So, you roll it all out nice, nice, okay? Some people don't put the dough. I like to use the dough. just gives it a another layer of deliciousness. And what I actually used here is puff pastry dough. So, for this video, I'm going to warn you, is going to be a little bit longer than the usual ones because it's a little bit more involved. However, I did pre-cut everything, and we're going to go over that shortly. First off, I want to let you guys know that I preheat the oven to 400 degrees. After all this is together, we're going to put it in at 400 degrees, okay? Then we're going to lower it to uh, 325. We're going to cook it for about 50 minutes to an hour, depending upon how your oven cooks. Okay, so here we go here. I didn't get crazy. We're just making one of them. I mean, I'm not a bakery over here. So my friend Scott, yeah, I know. You're probably telling him, oh, you're lazy. You should have made at least a dozen of them. But you know what? I'll leave that up to you, my brother. So here we go. We're going to spray the pan so we can lay in the dough so it doesn't stick. Um, like I said, I'm not really a baker, so I'm probably going to get a little ridiculed for this. I don't even know if I did that right. But, okay. But I've actually made these before, and... You know, they're really, really good. I just, uh, they're, they're freaking really good. I love ham pie. There's, there's so much stuff in them. It's just, it's unbelievable. You want to stretch this out and leave it overlapped so you can, uh, let's squeeze that down. So you can kind of tie it into the upper layer when you put that on. But it looks like I might have a little bit of a problem. So you know what we're going to do? I don't have time for this nonsense. So I'm going to roll it out a little bit more. Okay. We're going to roll that out, put a little more flour on there. Boop. Roll it out. Yeah, baby, roll it on out. Okay, so I hope everybody gets to see their family on this wonderful holiday and doesn't lose sight of what we're being, what we're all thankful for, rather. And, uh, you know, I try to go to church once a month, but I pray every day, believe it or not. And you guys that know me are probably like, yeah, you pray every day? Right. I really do. I really do. You know, I mean, everybody's got to believe in something. And uh, so, just do what makes you feel good, man. Do what makes you feel good. Do what makes you feel right in your heart. Okay, so here we go. This is a little bit bigger now, so we should probably not have an issue. Never mind the... Uh, the flour all over the place. We got a cleaning lady for that stuff. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna lay this in there. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's that right there, my friends. And when I put the ingredients in there, it's all gonna push down. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Oh, almost busted my ass on that flour on the floor. But um, okay. So big bowl ingredients coming at you. Okay, we got a lot. We got a lot. I got up early this morning. 4.30 this morning. Somebody gets up to use the restroom. You know, I'm a little edgy. You know, I don't know. Been in law enforcement a little too long. Seen some crazy shit in my days. So, 4.30 this morning. Door cracks open. Tara comes back in. I jump up, close fist, ready to knock her out. Of course, after that, I'm high strung. I can't sleep. But, you know. So, what do we do when we can't sleep? We work. I had some new headshots done. Reno Venturi Photography. Top shelf. We're going to have those up and running soon on my uh, on my fan page, Louis Anthony Colello. And we're going to even weigh in on, um, on uh, letting, you, letting you guys decide. Or, not decide, but. Have a bit of an inflection of what you guys think are the best photos. 
You can find that on my fan page, Louis Anthony Colello. Getting back to what we have going on here. So all this stuff right here, after I return some emails and stuff like that first thing this morning, uh, by 6 a.m. I was cutting up all this meat. I was two cup of coffees in. You can tell I'm a little high strung. That's just me. Um, we're going to put some eggs in here. We're going to get the whisk. Wash the hands, of course, as always. Stuff these down here. You know, looks like I'm going to need a little bit more eggs, but I'm going to hold off because I don't like to be too eggy or omelette ish. I don't, you know, I want to taste the ingredients. I want to taste the prosciutto, the basket cheese, the, the, uh, the this looks like uh, provolone, the mozzarella. I got Romano, the prosciutto, and the uh, ham. So we're going to get the wisp. We're going to. Where's the whisk? Here it is. I got, I got it. It's okay. I got it. Okay. Now in this, you don't put any um, salt because there's plenty of salt in all the ingredients. You put salt in there, you better, I don't know, run yourself an IV because you're probably going to get dehydrated. However, we, we do put black pepper. And do we, we have black, actually we have, I want to use fresh cracked black pepper because that's what should go in here. Remember. No more salt. No more salt. You don't need it. It bloats you. Look at me. I eat a lot of salt, obviously. Okay. Crushed black pepper. Just put it on in there. I'm going to leave this out because make a little. I should have actually put a little bit of this into the, uh, to the, to the dough, pepper dough. But whatever. That's fine. Mix this up. Basket cheese. What do we do with it? What do we do with it, guys? Throw it in. Throw it yep, all in. All in. We don't care. Throw it in. Okay? Throw it all in there. Delicious. Yep, we're clearly going to need more eggs. What do we got here? Okay, this is um, this is uh, cured salami. Cut this up nice. Guys, don't cut it up too big. Don't leave it too big because when you bite in there, you don't want to pull a hunk out and then the thing falls all over the place. Cut it up. I got the, um, it's like a pepperoni stick. It looks like a pepperoni stick. It's dried salami. I quarter it. Cut it into fours. Be careful when you're cutting it. Don't cut your fingers off. Okay. Quick, simple, easy. Mozzarella, huh? Delicious. You want some? Nah. Delicious. Throw it in. Throw it in. Oh, look at that. Huh. That, my friends. Look at this. I think I'm going to have a little bit too much. I may have to make two. This is um, provolone. That's the provolone. Okay. So you can see what I'm using as far as how much. You can kind of just weigh it out. However big your pan is, just kind of eyeball it. This is the ham that I come up, cut up. This is just, uh, you know, domestic ham. Virginia ham. Call it whatever you want. I don't know. Throw this in here. This thing's going to be loaded. So... All this stuff, all these ingredients, very expensive. Pres prosciutto. Prosciutto. You've got to throw that in there. Got to throw another one in. I will not sort of Very good stuff. Throw it in. Definitely going to need a few more eggs. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. Hmm? Look at this. I'm going to stick my hand in there. Let's crack a few more eggs. Boom. Okay. Shell free. When you're a professional like me, guys, I tell you, you never put a shell in there. Never. Because you know what? You're just a pro. Huh? So you just go with it, throw it in. Oh, can we cut that? There's a little shell in there. I'm kidding. No shells in there. Let's mix it up. Boom. All right. Get it all going. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this, stuff's falling all over the place. Look at that. Oh, my God. Now, when this cooks, it's going to be <laughs> incredible. So, what I also want to do is I want to throw some um, some Parmesan cheese in there, guys. So, some, throw some Parmesan cheese in there. And I'm going to mix that up, too. Oh my God. All right, that's good. So... 
No cellulose. We don't want any wood chips in our uh, cheese. They put the wood chips in there so the cheese doesn't stick together. You know what? I'd rather have the cheese stick together than eat wood chips. Yeah, they're pulverized so you don't see them, but eat them. Okay, look at this. Hmm? Look at that. Oh, my God. Hmm? Look at that. Basket cheese. Look, you got the, you got the ham. You got the, uh, the prosciutto. The dried salami, the cheeses. Oh man, Chris is going to be nothing short of outstanding. This, this, this right here may win an award. What do you think? You may win an award, maybe. Hot. It's freaking heavy. I'll tell you that much. Perfect. Throw it in. Throw it all in. Boom. Perfect. 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 Get it in there. Okay. Look at that. Hmm? Now, what I did, I know we're going to, yeah, stand by one second. Got to do this. We've got to melt a little bit of butter because, guys, when you, after you put it in there, you want to brush the top with butter just because it just gives a little bit of an extra bang and just makes it taste that much better okay so we'll pop this in here take that out of there Put in there for a minute start whoop uh where's the uh the brushes right here all right i'm gonna slide this over here guys because i'm gonna roll out a little bit more dough and put, excuse me, a little bit more flour in there. Let me just wipe this up here. Oh, you hear that sizzling? Okay, that's done. Okay. So, we're going to put some more flour out. Some more flour. Cheese. Throw a little bit more cracked pepper on the top here before I forget. You want to come over here and take a little close-up on what we got here? Now, guys, this is all going to fill in. This is when this when this is it become when it comes to temperature, this is all going to solidify. It's going to fill in. It's going to cook down. The crust is going to brown, and it's going to look incredible, and it's going to taste even better. So we put this out here. Here's my. Um, my homemade dough that I have here, you know, the, you know, the one that I woke up at 4:30 this morning to make. Yeah, that one. All right. Oh, it's all right. Okay. A little piece of shkurat. No, it's probably a little piece of um, the corner of the prosciutto. So, look at this, baby. Woo! Yes. Roll it out. My restaurant folks, my baker friends, my homie Smoothie, he's going to be very critical. He's going to call me in a little while. As soon as this video gets up, he's going to call me and say, what are you doing? What are you making that for? I would have made it for you. No. There's some things, guys, you just got to show that just the average person can make it. You know, because the average person could do something like this. Can, it, you know what? It's a tradition. It's an absolute tradition. Okay, so put this crust over here. <clears throat> Look at that. We're going to trim it a little bit. Okay, a couple of scissors here. This is a food scissors. I think Tara might cut the dog's toenails with it. I'm not sure, but I hope she doesn't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We don't, trust me, we don't get down like that in this house. So, okay, this is like fit for a king, a queen, royalty, whatever. You saw all those good ingredients in there. My man, Freddy Russo, I'm saving you a piece, Fred. I'm saving you a piece. Okay, and my, my other friend, Freddy Rubino. He does all these shows. He's a comic. Great, great guy. Freaking.
comical genius, actually. And, you know, Fred, I'm going to make a recommendation, you know, the get the food out of here. Call it get the food over here. Are you kidding me? What get it out of here? Get it over here. We're Italians. We like to eat. Can I say we're guineas? I could say that because I'm a guinea, right? Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to pinch these a little bit like this. Boop. Little pinch. Make it look like I'm on made it. No, just boop, a little bit like that. Just just tuck it in nice, nice. Huh? Is that working? Or should we use the fork? Guys, I'm just your average your average Joe. I, I don't know. You know, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. You know, we just want to button up the sides here. You guys got any questions for, I'll check, I'll check my uh, post. Don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel, and absolutely do not forget to subscribe, because guys, we're going to be branching out soon, we got a new company that we're going to be starting as well, so, I can't tell you what it is yet, okay, so, follow us, we're creating a, another brand, so, follow us, I don't know how I feel about that, hang on guys, I got to butter that up, hmm? Just like that big girl that time that I was with, I had to butter her up to get her into the car. Shh, don't tell anybody. I don't discriminate. You know why? Because I'm a big guy. You know, and I don't care. As long as you're happy, you're healthy, you know, you get a little exercise here and there. Eat a couple extra bowls of cereal for that workout in the morning. Whatever it takes. Just be happy. Life's too short. Enjoy yourself. We need a little bit more butter on here. Then we're going to pop this baby in the oven. What are we going to pop it in at? We're going to pop it in at. Why am I yelling? Because I'm Italian. <laughs> I got accused of yelling at someone the other day on a conference call because they wouldn't they wouldn't shut the hell up. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know I'm, I wasn't yelling. I was, I, was, I was trying to stop them so I can respond to what they were saying. And quite frankly, I was offended. Where's my, uh, where'd it go? Oh. So, I said, you know what, I'm not yelling, I'm Italian. What do you, what do you want me to do? Look at this. This, huh. we're going to more pepper, more pepper. Huh? So we can make believe that I didn't forget to put it into the crust. They say, oh, the pepper crust is delicious. You bet your ass it's delicious. I made it fresh. 4.30 this morning, remember? Yeah, real fresh. No, but this is actually a puff pastry dough, so this is going to freaking, oh man, this is going to flake and it's going to, it's going to taste really, really good. Really, really good. So, you guys got any questions, anything I can help you with, please feel free, reach out, let us know. Again, subscribe to the page. If you don't subscribe to the page, then you know what? You're an idiot. Okay, you don't want to be an idiot. You don't want to get left behind. You want us to keep up with the times. You want to, you know, I'm all about inspiring people you know i'm a little nuts but it's just part of the it's just part of the package i guess so you guys enjoy and when we come back we're going to pop this in the oven now we're also going to have a list of ingredients okay i feel like i'm forgetting something but i'm not we're going to have a list of ingredients um at the end of the video itself to show you exactly how it's done Hold on. I want to pop it out right here. Look at this. Hold on. Whoop. See? Watch this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a little special part. Right? Right? A little special one? I don't want to cut it on the counter, but you know what? On the counter it goes. You know why? Because that's what I'm doing. That's why. Hmm? So what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Yeah. Put a little cross on there. Nice, nice. Hmm? Huh? What do you think? You think? Huh? See? Because I'm a nice little Catholic boy. I was raised right. To respect others. And to do what you can for other people that are less fortunate than you. I was raised right. And look at that. Huh? Look at that baby. Huh? Look at that. A nice cross. Salute. This goes into the oven. I better not drop it or I'll have to slap the shit out of myself. 
All right, going into the oven, 400 degrees for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes goes by, you knock it down to 325 for about 50 to 60 minutes. We're going to check it. All right, and I can tell you what, when this comes out, I don't care if it's all over the place. I'm taking a slice, and we're going to enjoy this together. Okay, we'll see you guys shortly. As soon as we come back, we'll be back in the blink of an eye, and we'll see you in a bit. Hey, welcome back, guys. I told you we'd be back in a blink. Um, this is fantastic. I actually wound up cooking it for about, at 400 degrees, I cooked it uh, for 10 minutes, and I dropped it down to 325 for actually an hour and 45 minutes, bringing the temperature up to about, um, shit, what was it? I think it was like 325 degrees. That would make sense. Um, so in any event, I cooked it for like an hour and 45 minutes because it's so thick. Um, so now the blue ribbon event and guys, don't forget to su subscribe to my page, Luigi, the Italian cooking guy, because if you want to see, and I didn't even take a look at this, so it, hold on. All right. If you guys want to see a masterpiece like this, huh? Okay. We got the butter, we got the pepper. Got the pepper in the uh, dough there. We're going to just break right in there. You guys want to see more stuff, I highly suggest you guys subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you want me to make. I'll make it. If we can have a conversation. You guys get any ideas, thoughts, questions, concerns, please feel free to ask. And we, I cannot wait to wrap my lips around a big fat hunk of this stuff. Okay? <sighs> yeah. You guys ready? You guys ready? Hold on. We don't want to do a bloopers reel. Let's get this shit right the first time. Look at that. Hold on. Now. Now. So I did let it cool down for actually two hours. So theoretically, I haven't seen you guys in like four hours. So look at this. Okay. Just falls apart. Delicious. Once you put it in. Hang on, I can't, I can't have to. Once you guys put this in the refrigerator, it will, um, it will kind of bound together. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Excuse me? No, I don't want to use harden. It will, um, it'll get it firm. And it won't fall apart like this when you cut it. Okay, so. Now I'm going to taste it. Oh, mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Put the cheese. You got the, the prosciutto, the hard salami, the ham, the basket cheese. Look, at it's all in there. The pepper crust. Fantastic. Subscribe to my page, Luigi the Italian Cooking Guy. Cooking Guy. Come on, I got a mouthful over here. So, hope you guys have a happy Palm Sunday. And an even better Easter for you and your families. And I'm not sure if we're going to do another video before next East, before Easter comes up next weekend. If you guys want me to do one, send me some messages. We'll whip something up. And maybe you can serve it at your Easter dinner. All right? Subscribe, Luigi the Italian Cooking Guy. We'll see you guys soon. All right? Don't forget to stuff your faces. Huh? Stuff the bone, my paisans. <laughs>